Hi there, I'm Timothy Linsdow, video producer and a Christian, and today I'm putting on my waste to energy cap as I continue this talk about waste to energy and dealing with all of our trash. How can we find a way to solve our landfills and recycling problem? Like and comment on my video, subscribe to support my channel if you would, that would be terrific. Let's go on with more about this waste energy technology, define it a little bit more. Uh, it utilizes, I mean, waste energy utilizes municipal solid waste, the trash that we weekly put out in the street to be picked up by these trucks and hauled that we don't usually care where, unfortunately. But we have, where I live, there's huge giant landfills this goes to. The recycling business that we hope would save us is not because it's becoming overwhelming. There's no market, not enough market for the uh, byproducts. That's uh, now what was once a profit maker is costing tens of thousands of dollars for municipalities. Uh, they thought we thought we would save ourselves by sending it to China and India. That's not working out so well. So here we are, filling up landfills with with. Uh, uh, alternative uh, renewable resource that can be put to use to create energy. Now the waste energy technology is an alternative source for renewable energy and in the challenge of of a finite amount of fossil reserves that's an issue that, that can help. Uh, municipal uh, solid waste uh, considered renewable energy because it contains a large amount of biological and renewable materials, which of course can be uh, agricultural items, wood, and the sort. Um, and there's a significant excess uh, supply of uh, municipal uh, solid waste, primarily in landfills and around the globe. The demand for uh, uh, municipal solid waste as a fuel source has increased. Now the most common conversion method of of uh, municipal solid waste to energy is combustion and although it's currently entrenched in the market there are three emerging technologies moving toward the forefront. Now of course the issue with all of this has to do with the exhaust gases at the end of this uh, end of these energy plants. There's a biological treatment that's being looked at. It's an anaerobic digestion process of waste to fuel that can, can be converted into purified biogas that can run turbines uh, power gas engines create heat or electricity. Uh, biogas can also be purified and compressed to be used as vehicle fuel. So all these develop, uh, technologies are out there and being used. There's a thermal treatment methods that yield energy in the form of heat and electricity, include combustion, gasification, and other types of technology. There's a pyrolo uh, pyrolysis used in production of cellulose Cellulose, excuse me, cellulosic ethanol. There are multiple facilities in the pilot and commercialization stages. Something interesting from uh, Columbia University researchers assert that the technology breakthroughs in recent years uh, now make sending trash to landfills a waste of energy. Now, th I think that's really good news. <clears throat> years ago, I saw it in San Diego where they were trying to promote waste energy plants, everybody's saying not in my backyard, it's going to create all kinds of pollution. We already have the pollution. We need to deal with it. So this, these studies are helping us to understand how we can do this. It's a pretty basic system. Uh, the study uh, co-authored by researchers from the university's Earth Engineering Center determined that the U.S. took all the non-recycling plastic currently sent to U.S. landfills each year and instead sent that trash to waste energy plant, it would produce enough electricity for 5.2 million U.S. homes annually. Now some states are taking advantage of the latest waste technology. Connecticut, for example, has uh, achieved a recovery record of 65% of plastic waste, uh, which I think is terrific. Other states with the best record for capitalizing on energy waste include Massachusetts, Hawaii, Maine, Virginia, Minnesota, New Jersey, New York, Maryland, Pennsylvania. Look at that. So stuff's happening out there. People are trying to make things happen. It, it's, 
in in the concern for global uh, climate issues, I'm sure that will immediately come up, but I think it's poorly understood on how well these systems are designed to scrub the uh, uh, exhaust, if you will. Uh, there's also an ash that's left over, of course, from this burning that is also put in landfills, but it can be used for such things as making cinder blocks and other types of materials. All of these things just need need that support to continue this effort. <clears throat> There's a word they call feedstock, and that sounds like something to do with agricultural, but it, it just has to do with what goes into the furnace, into the uh, waste to energy plant, which is tons of things. Over a billion tons of the uh, municipal solid waste is processed in landfills each year. A billion tons. Now, growth rates of waste in most industrialized countries are compared to GDP growth in energy consumption. Despite, despite plans of increased investment in the waste energy technology, 20-year projections indicate that the municipal solid waste is sustainable feedstock supply will always be producing some kind of waste. Uh, so that's, there's, there's that issue. Now, unlike most other biofuel inputs, using municipal solid waste feedstock for waste to energy as a low cost supply can actually create a revenue stream via tipping fees from landfill operators. Now landfill owners have a significant incentive to divert their uh, um, municipal standard uh, solid waste to alternative sites due to the high cost and time involved permitting additional landfill capacity. Now in some cases it is not possible to permit new landfills or expand existing landfill capacity. Plus the landfill is there. It, in Southern California where uh, real estate is very expensive in other places like this, that land is being consumed by these landfills and there are issues with using that land at all because of uh, leakage into water sources, methane and other problems. Uh, one of the issues we have there's a freeway that runs east to west near, near and across the uh, landfill that uh, originally was put in and it is constantly sinking as the uh, landfill items decay and compress so they're constantly having to uh, shape and fill in the uh, freeway to make it safe. And that's an ongoing issue, which could be anywhere. So, <clears throat> again, uh, thinking that landfills will just solve our problem and go away and not be an issue is not what's happening. Uh, also, sending it to other countries, that's becoming an issue. They're not making any money on it. It's just creating more problems from them, and they may be just throwing the stuff out for all we know uh, and impacting our oceans. So on we go. Now, <clears throat> municipal solid waste can be defined in different ways depending on the nation or in the international organization involved. The definition has significant effects on the waste energy markets. Quality and contents of the waste are dependent upon the definition and characteristics of a landfill. The International Energy Agency defines municipal solid waste with regard to waste and waste to energy as household waste and commercial industrial waste that has a composition similar to that of household waste. So again, that takes us back <clears throat> to what goes out in your trash can. Now, that makes us all responsible. We're all using something that ends up in that trash can. And that's really important for you to understand. So how can we come up with a way to deal with our own trash that doesn't pollute everything and isn't a waste? There is waste of waste. <laughs> it can be used as fuel to run power plants, to give us energy, give us electricity. I mean, what a great idea. If we can send men to the moon, if we can send people to Mars, why can't we solve this issue? Let's get on it. So there you are. Like and comment on my video. Subscribe to support my channel if you would. And get out there, deal with the waste of energy, and make it a great day. <laughs>